I make my triumphant return to 101 things to do in Minecraft. There's so much left to do, so let's get into exploring, building, and crafting. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fantastic day. I did a few things off camera. Nothing too incredibly crazy, but one of the things was uh, finally changing up here. I actually made it so there's like more light going on over here because the issue is mobs will spawn in here if I don't have more light. And I think it gives it just enough light that mobs won't spawn in here. So I'm hoping that is true. I don't really 100% know, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and it, it was just kind of bothering me for like so long that it was just, you know... Like, the, the even the potential of them being in there was, like, not what I wanted. Because that's not the point of the whole section. And that kind of happens in here as well. So, like, the lights obviously in here... I don't know where I am. Uh, the lights obviously don't work because it doesn't reach all the way down there. But I did it for the sake of consistency as well. So, um, you know, there's that. Uh, something I also wanted to change... Well, I'll show you the, the biggest change, I guess. Uh, is over toward here. I refined this area a bit more, and now it's the actual idea that I thought of from the get-go. So you can see that there's an entire nether section here. So kind of like a chill-out area where there's even more of the mycelium that's kind of layered in this really cool way. So it, you know, it transitions between red and blue and red, and it takes up this whole little area, and I really like how it came out a lot. And uh, the upper portion here is edited just a little bit here. Just to add more blue flames, just to, you know, keep it super cool looking over here. So, there's that. Um, another thing that I added was over toward this section. I, uh, I changed up how this was. So, like, you know, it's obviously still all the wheat that you are uh, very familiar with. There's the bamboo. But now on this section over here, I added a, a place for these berries that were located over in the village area over toward that way. That way over there. And now they're actually growing here. So eventually I'm going to put nether wart over here as well. So that way nether wart can grow. Not that I need it, but just as a crop to grow and have it be around here. Uh, I put a fence around the bamboo because of everything going on over here. And something you may slash may not notice is that all of the snow within this area is gone. So I just zoned out, got rid of all the snow, used water buckets, manually got rid of all the snow... It took way too long, but I did it. And now, the next little section I'm going to do is something I did off camera before, but I want to demonstrate my thought process and tell you a bit more about it as I do it here, is making more houses for the villagers to be over here. So this is going to be a very small area in which the villagers can live. Um, I'm going to be taking down some of these trees, but obviously I still have the saplings in order to replant a lot of the birch trees and the dark oak and the acacia and all that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the next thing I do. Obviously, D'Angelo up here, rest in pepperoni, may he forever stand unshaken, uh, will not move. He will stay here forever because I'm pretty sure, like I may have mentioned before, it's illegal to, like, build on top of a graveyard. Or there's, there's probably some law against that. So I'm not going to do that. Not that I couldn't in Minecraft, but you know. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm probably going to add a house uh, right here. Something, you know, one story. Because I don't want the villagers to have to climb upstairs or anything like that. Um, probably some sort of area over here just with uh, flowers and whatnot. Make it very nice. Um, I don't foresee any other animals dying. So I don't need to make more graves here, I don't think. Uh, maybe something over here. I'm not quite sure. But I think my idea of having a uh, sanctuary over here is kind of shot. So, yeah. Uh, my name is Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. Hello. These villagers need a home. So that's what I'm going to make. Uh, let me turn on this spooky light over here and then I'll get started. All right. So that adds a little bit more life into everything over here. All right. So I'm going to just start. And I'm going to try to come up with an idea based off of all the different types of wood that I have at my disposal. Uh, I have each of the different type of trees, I believe. Uh, dark, actually, regular oak, I don't think I have as many. Are there any oak trees around here? Yeah, that's an oak tree. Okay, cool. So as long as I have the type of wood, then I'm good. So I have dark oak. I have acacia, jungle, birch, spruce, oak. The only ones I don't have are crimson, 
planks, but those are technically those right there. So technically, I have all sorts of the types of trees, so that is fair game by me. So I'm going to get rid of these over here, uh, first things first, and then, yes, I am going to be doing this all in creative mode because it will take significantly less time than uh, doing it normally. So let me get rid of all this here. Ideally, I don't want to get rid of that tree, uh, this big dark oak tree right here. Uh, I can obviously replant them if I really wanted to, but I feel like I can get away with doing what I want to do Potentially without needing to get rid of that. Maybe uh, My goal is to be making, you know, one or two houses I think over here like one or two solid houses would be good uh, I'm going to Get rid of the so all the other things up here. I don't need right. These are not like Items that are super important. So this whole bottom row can basically be you know used and, and like swapped out with things so let me go back over here uh, also the next section of episodes is going to be me actually exploring one thing i want to get is um uh turtles i still don't have turtles and i remember that there is a section way over toward that way where i found turtle eggs and now that i have the silk touch pickaxe that is right over here i can grab the turtle eggs and make a beach and do all that sort of thing so that's going to be what i'm going to do and it is looking like, yeah, I'm going to have to remove that little section right there. So I'm going to move the grass back toward this way and um, just work on this house and uh, see see what, you know, pops into my mind with uh, everything involving this house here. So uh, in terms of anything going on with me personally, um, it's what, October 7th. It is October 7th, so it's not quite Halloween yet. It's still the spooky season. That's why the background is still up and everything like that. Um, but, you know, I still don't have any Halloween plans, and I probably never will. So get that idea out of your head in case you're like, Brian, what are you going to possibly do? Probably a whole lot of nothing. All right, I got a good footing right here. I'm going to use the spruce log. So there, there haven't still been any things going on. And you know what? It's just kind of where I'm at with everything. And you know what's actually been helpful is, like, focusing on my mind with, like, other things that I have going on. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, bam. So that should be symmetrical. Yes, it is. Beautiful. I'm going to try to make this not a total square, but I guess it's going to kind of be a total square. Uh, let's see right here. It's almost a, a total square. Okay, perfect. Uh, the idea that I have behind this is not necessarily going to be, like, the other, other villager houses, but it's going to be fitting with that theme, I guess. So I'm just going to think of stuff as I go along here. So it's been helpful to, like, actually play Minecraft. And just to, like, zone out and work on something that isn't necessarily super, you know, high pressure or anything like that. Not that Minecraft is, or any other videos are, like, high pressure. But just being able to, like, zone out and do this has been super, super kind of therapeutic for me. I guess, you know, I don't normally, oh, that's definitely not symmetrical, Brian. Wow, awesome. Uh, not that they need to be, but it's going to bother me severely if I don't have it be symmetrical. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah, there we go. Um, but just being able to zone out and do whatever you got to do in Minecraft is very helpful. And I recommend it to anybody, you know. Um, and especially, like, what helps me is, like, playing games that I have played before. As much as, like, I love playing new games and I like to, like, get new experiences and do whatever else, but, like, playing Minecraft, I feel like I know the vast majority of the mechanics in this game, so, like, I don't feel too in the dark if I'm, like, you know, playing the game and I'm like, oh, I want to try this new thing, I want to try that new thing. Like, I'm not afraid to actually try it and I don't feel like I'm too in over my head. Like, I can just kind of go and it can just kind of work, you know? So, if you have that game for you, then that's good. Um, a lot of games that are like that are these live service games that kind of exist. So, you have, um, you know, like, uh, th there's games like the, the new Avengers game is like that. It's a live service game, which means that there's constantly things being updated in regard to the game. And they require, basically, your full attention. And this is not going to be a very big house, now that I'm realizing it, but whatever, it's fine. Um, they basically require all of your attention, but it's like a, it's a kind of a mindless experience in a way. So you don't necessarily need to think super duper hard about every single little thing you're doing in the game. You kind of just have to play it and enjoy it. And you typically play with friends and whatnot. And Minecraft has actually become 
that thing for me that I'm not necessarily playing with friends, like not in this world at least, I'm not playing with friends, but, you know, it's just something that you can do and not have to think too hard about what's going on, you know? Uh, and I don't think it's going to be too morbid if I have the windows here facing out into what is essentially a graveyard. So I'm going to, well, it's not a graveyard. It's like, yeah, the grave is right there. All right, cool. So that's going to be a little, a little morbid, I guess. But that's actually something I've realized. Like, you know, uh, you ever notice around a cemetery in real life, there's houses that are around there. So clearly people are like, nah, I don't mind. You know, you, you got to think like, hey. You know, the land is pretty cheap, and if someone's down for it, then you know what? All the power to you, man. If you want to live near a graveyard and deal with all the spooky happenings going on over there, potentially, then, you know, all the power to you, you know? Not that anything spooky is actually happening. A lot of that is uh, probably not true, I guess. Um, I have never had a paranormal or spooky experience in my life, so I cannot vouch for... Um, anyone else who has, uh, I, I have never, yeah, there's never been anything that has happened to me. There's never been anything that's like indicated that something could have been up, you know? And that's actually something that I realized about like, you know, how, how people were like back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like the 1800s or 17, like whatever, like a long, 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 long time ago. I'll go with orange and red. Sure. Just for now. Um, I'm going to put a bed right here, and a bed right here, and then a bed right over here. Well, I kind of don't want to have it just be like a normal, like, that, that seems kind of weird, right? Just a bunch of beds everywhere. It seems like a boarding room school. Um, that's kind of odd. Really spooky. Ooh, super spooky. Uh, but how many beds could I fit in here realistically? You know, you know what there needs to be in Minecraft? There needs to be some sort of, like, dividers. So, like, you know if, like, you're, you're sharing, like, like, like a room? There's, like, room dividers and whatnot? My, my friend Alex basically lived like that for a long time. He had, like, um, like, this divider separating his, you know, place from the rest of the house. It was really weird. But um, what I feel like I could do, what if I did something like this? What if I had trap doors? Right here, right? And then it acted as, like, a divider. Is that weird? Uh, it might be weird. Let me see. Uh, I mean, you get the idea, right? If I do this, and then there's, like, a dividing line right in here. Oh, that kind of makes it seem like a hospital. Is that weird? It looks like chocolate bars. Um, I can't tell if this is weird or not. Mmm... It doesn't seem like a house. That really does look like chocolate. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think I like it. All right. You know what I'm gonna do? This is gonna be a two-story. That's what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a two-story. I know I said I didn't want to make it a two-story, but just for the sake of having this not seem like a hospital, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. So we're gonna toss uh, stairs over here. The stairs are going to be right here. And the reason that is, is because this view over here is directly to D'Angelo's grave. Nobody needs to see that. Well, I mean, people need to see that, but not, like, willingly looking out the window. Like, wow, let me look at this grave real quick. You know what I mean? Um, and then I can put one room down here, right? Let's say I put a bed right here, right? Then I put, um, what if this is a room, right? There's that right there, yeah. Why not do this? There's this and this. Yep. Okay. I, I don't hate this. I don't hate this right now. What if I did this? Hold on. Yep. Just like that. So that way they're all facing the same way. All the logs facing the same way. Bam. Look at that. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Jafil. Jafil. Okay. Let's do this. Nope. This. There we go. Uh, and that could be a room. It's very small. But, you know, so are dormitories in college, right? Not that I've been to college, but, you know, that's uh, it's basically what it's like. Uh, yeah, that is essentially exactly what it's like. You have no square footage to do anything except exist. So let me put a chest in here. Like, you don't even have room to, like, breathe, pretty much. You're just like, what? In here. So, yeah, that, that could be, you know, as long as you have windows, it's, like, it's a law. You, you need to have, like... I think a window, a door, and a closet. 
in order for it to qualify as a room legally. So as long as you have windows and a door, um, closets aren't a thing in Minecraft, so I don't really mind that as much. But, you know, as long as you have that, you're good. So bam, there's a room right there that a villager can stay in. That's fine. And so now this can go like up toward here. The floor is going to be the same color. So I guess that's fine. Oh, is this kind of weird? No, there can be another room right here. So if I do this, right? So the second room can be right there. And it's going to be hopefully decent, right? Is that fine? No, that, that has to go uh, over toward here. So as I was saying before, um, I, I had never had any sort of paranormal... Uh, things and it's funny when you think about like you know all these different reports that happened from like years ago people are like oh this spooky thing happened this that spooky thing happened but like now we know in today's society that instead of there being these like giant red eyes that loom over you in the darkness of the night you can probably tell it's just like some random dog that, like, you didn't realize was a dog, but because it was just in the middle of the night, like, you didn't realize it was this absolutely terrifying, like, you know, wolf or something. Just a lot of things like that, you know, like all the like the Loch Ness Monster was probably some like non-existent or, you know, unknown um, sea creature that was extinct, but now is no longer extinct, like just random stuff like that, right? Like, you don't think of that stuff from, like, you, you know it exists today, but you don't realize, like, back then, people must have thought, like, whoa, these are, like, these legendary sea creatures. Like, and then you have, like, the chupacabra was probably just a really big hyena or something. I don't know. You know, a lot of stuff like that. So there's a lot of different, like, rumors and things people come up with to, like, you know, legend has it, this thing happened many years ago. You know, a lot of th spooky things like that. But they're not necessarily true. It's just like, oh, people trying to make sense of things and calling it an urban legend or a myth or something. Like the Mothman, you know. Um, that's actually... The Mothman is a, is a low-key, like, inside joke with me and my friends. I don't know. I don't know, like, how it, it happened. But for some reason... I'll, I'll tell you this story because it's not not family friendly or anything. It's fine. Um, I'm going to do this. Does that look awful? Uh, uh, does that look awful? I don't hate it. I, I kind of do. Yeah, never mind. Uh, but basically uh, what had happened and it's really the stupidest story. It's not even a good story, but I was out with my friends and we were at a Burger King drive through. Like years ago, years and years and years ago. And for some reason, it, w it was super late, at, not super late at night. It was like 11 o'clock at night. But I was going on some sort of tirade about something like I normally do. You know, I say a lot of nonsense, a lot of just off the chain, wacky stuff, right? So my friend Ricky was very like out of it. Like, I, I, like we were we were just talking like it wasn't even anything crazy but for some reason he got freaked out because he saw some random dude or random entity on the roof of the burger king and he was like oh my goodness what is that and he started freaking out and i'm like ricky what else could it possibly be except the mothman and then like what I do in those moments is I end up just coming up with like a sound effect or a voice for like things. And so I will, I will share with you for the first time ever, the actual sound that I make uh, to exemplify the Mothman. Keep in mind, I don't know what the Mothman sounds like. I don't think anyone knows. Um, but, but the voice of the Mothman is like a, it's like that. So it's like you, you like, ah, you go like that, and then you inhale, but you also, like, not suffocate yourself, but you're like, Nyaaah. like, I can't even describe it, you know? So that's my Mothman voice. Um, so in case you, you wake up in a cold sweat, like, a week from now, and you're like, why are these voices haunting me? It's the sound of the Mothman. So sorry about that. Sorry to all the, uh, the parents out there who are trying to 
you know, go to work, and then they're like, now I can't sleep because of the voice of the Mothman. Thanks, Brian. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. But, you know, I, I had to let you know, you know. And fun fact, there actually is a Mothman festival that happens I don't know where, but I want to go. It's obviously not happening this year, but, like, I want to go so badly. Um, I think it happens in, like, the desert or, like, a desert town or something. I forget exactly where, but it sounds really fun. Like, they literally just celebrate the Mothman. That is all they do. There's, like, a film festival. There's a giant Mothman statue. Um... Lots of things like that. There's a Mothman Museum. And I'm like, man, that sounds really fun. You know, just to, like, get super involved in this super zany thing. Like, the Mothman. Like, who, like who would ever consider, like, the Mothman to be that much of an entity that people are like, oh, no, I, I love the Mothman. It's great. That's all. Let's, and it's basically, like, I don't think anyone actually believes in the Mothman. And if you do, I'm sorry. But, like, at this rate... It's just an excuse for people to get together and to hang out. Kind of like when there was, like, a, a big push for, like, people to raid Area 51 last year. Which, obviously, you never, ever do that. Like, that is super, super dangerous. And, like, if you go on the premises of Area 51, they will they will show no hesitation. Okay? They they are absolutely 100% willing to um, um, send you into... Uh, the afterlife. So don't mess with those guys. Uh, but nobody actually messed with those guys at all. Everyone knew full well, like, hey, don't be a dummy. So it was just like a fun thing people decided to do because, you know, hey, people are bored and they, they want to make it happen. And I think it actually was supposed to turn into like a music festival, which is a really cool idea. So hopefully, either next year or the year after or something, that actually uh, happens. And that's a successful thing people can be a part of and do because like i would love to go to a music festival that's based on like the raid of area 51 that's pretty cool you know get to hang out with aliens and do all sorts of alien things you know like like be spooky i guess i don't know uh, i'm gonna make another room right here and basically like this is kind of like a not quite like a dormitory but you know it's i guess you know they're all kind of the same you know dimensions this one's slight ever so slightly larger but not by that much there um i do want to add a couple of things in here just to make it a bit more uh lively so nope let's not do that actually nope not craft no let's go down here uh i'm gonna add a crafting table uh basically i always like adding a bunch of um just things around here you know oh you know what i'm gonna do there's a redstone lamp okay cool uh, I'm going to add a, uh, what's it called? I always forget what it's actually called. It's not an oven. It's not a stove. Why can I not? Furnace. It's a furnace. Well, I don't even know what a blast furnace does. I think it makes it go quicker. Is that what that does? Let me, let me check here. So blast furnace. Okay, if I do this, right, what can I craft right here? Anything? Does that do anything? No, of course not. Why would that do anything? What can I, what can I cr smell? Oh, let's get some, um, iron, because I, I don't even know what it does. So if I get a bunch of this, right, I toss this into here. Oh, it just makes it go super fast. Wait, so why would you not use a blast furnace? It, like, doubles the speed. Or, like, triples it. Wow. Okay. So why would you not use that? That seems weird. Okay. Hey, there you go. Now you're home. How do you make a blast furnace? I'm like learning all sorts of new things. How do I? Yeah, but how do I do it? Uh, wait. No, it's not going to share. Okay, I have to go into survival. All right. Give me a second here. I could just look it up on the internet, but that's way, way too easy. So let's see. Um, construction. Blast. It requires a furnace. Smooth stone. How do you make smooth stone? I don't even know how you do that. I never mess with any of that stuff. Ever. Smooth stone slab. Smooth... Where do you get smooth stone? I guess you don't craft it. All right, whatever. Um, I'm going to take this back, though, and pop back into creative because I want to get rid of all this. I don't need 64 crafting tables, that's for sure. So I guess he works with that, and that's fine. So that's cool. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is grab some paintings here just to give it a bit more life. Uh, I'm going to put this over... That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Nope. Nope. 
Uh, what you need to do for a painting is just like place a block basically surrounding where you don't want there to be a painting and then you can get a one by one. So like one right there is good. Um, chests are going to go like right in here. Be like a storage area, I guess. Uh, let's see. I can put... Uh, nope. I'm going to put one... I'm going to put one right here, right? Yeah, that... That works, right? Yeah, that that's fine. Uh, let's go with a different type of wood right here. So, yeah, that, that was basically all I wanted to say in regard to the Mothman. Um, I'm not necessarily... In, in the idea, or rather, in, in the market for actually going there anytime soon, but I absolutely want to do it. Just for the sake of saying I went, you know? It's just something to do, something to, like, have fun with, you know? Oh, you can do that. Okay, cool. Um, just lots of things like that, you know? And there's all sorts of urban legends that exist out there that, like, I, I am not... Yeah, I don't, I don't believe them. But, like, all those, like, haunted tours and everything... A lot of that, I, be I fir firmly believe, is like your mind psyching itself out. You're like, oh, you believe these spooky things, and you get all worked up, and you're like, whoa, what's happening? What's going on? Oh, no, no, no. So, yeah. Um, if you believe in uh, paranormal stuff, good for you. You know, I, I wish I could believe in that, and I wish I had some paranormal e uh, experiences. Knock on wood, right? Just because I, I want to be able to say that there's something in my mind. I'm like, oh, this would be... Uh, cool thing to experience you know so anyways um what i'm gonna do is like light up these areas here because this is clearly um where this is going astray over here so if i do this for right now right i'm gonna place one right here so that way no enemies can spawn i'm gonna do one right here so no enemies can spawn for now um i know this looks very weird but it's just going to be like this until i actually make a dedicated you know make it all grass or anything like that so i think that that actually looks really ugly. Wow. This this looks absolutely awful. Wow. I, yeah. I, I messed this one up. Look at this. This looks disgusting. Why would I build this? Like, it just doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good at all. Like, what... Okay, so what could I do to fix this? There's got to be something. I, I know I can fix it. Um... Dude, I don't even know. I don't even know, like, what I could do here. Like, it just doesn't... Like, it looks like an apartment building, right? Is that where my mind goes subconsciously every time? It's like, oh, I'm just going to make everything into an apartment building and call it a day. I mean, it looks very modern, right? I guess. Like, I, I mean, it, I, it, it's, it's fine. I don't know. I mean, the villagers like it. They can get up here. So if the villagers, you know, if they want to go hang out up here and that can be a bed for him that's uh hey that's a thing so cool right i guess that's it's it's fine it's f what if i did this does that help that looks kind of weird no yeah no um that's fine yeah you like it buddy you good i he's living there so whatever that's fine uh are you y'all good over here all these villagers are like oh I want to have the, the beds over here. All the beds. And they're up here and they're just everywhere. So I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I guess they're fine. So they can read that this section is over here. That is a, a thing. So that's good. I'm going to put some bone meal down over here. And then that's going to like fill in this area over here. I could add something over here, but it's going to be very small. And like, uh, nah, I'll just keep it like a park area for now. Do this over here. Yeah, this is this is fine. This is fine for now. So what I'm going to do in the next episode is go off, go mining, because I actually don't have many resources left. If I take a look over to here, as I fly in creative mode, I could literally give myself all the netherite armor I could ever want. But again, that would be not the point of this playthrough and not the point of what I want to do. So let me toss all these things out of here. Spawn eggs, this, that, get them all out of here. Because, yeah, that's not that's not how I'm doing this. So there we go. Uh, not getting rid of these. These are fine. There we go. So if I look at, like, iron and whatnot, there's uh, not a whole lot left. I got two blocks. I got seven diamond, you know, a bunch of emerald, which is cool, but not necessarily what I need. Uh, I'm going to take one of these guys with me because I don't hold on to these as I should. 
And uh, yeah, I'm going to go out mining with my Silk Touch pickaxe, hopefully find some uh, turtles, which should be over toward that way. I should bring a map with me. So I'm going to make a locator map if I don't already have one. Treasure, empty, unknown. Yeah, all right. I might, no, you know, I'm just going to go explore. I have my coordinates and whatnot. It's fine. Uh, as I make my iron helmet here, I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. I hope this uh, day continues to treat you well in your journeys. And yeah, I need a lot more iron for a lot more um, armor. So that's going to be another thing I do. I got plenty of that stuff. Cool. So I should be good. I'll talk to you again next time in the next episode of 101 Things to Do in Minecraft. Bye. Bye.